Hi. Hello. Hi, Robin. How are you? I wish this was more like a Zoom where I can actually hear you guys talk. So... I can um, answer questions so much easier. I'm trying to clean off my desk before I get started. How was your How was your day today? doing good tired but good i um work today so figured i would go ahead and come on really quick for a little while maybe 35 minutes to an hour tonight um it won't be a five hour live like i would normally do i need to make some ruffle socks for a customer What color are those socks? Congratulations, Shay! What was your first order for? All right, Easter baby outfit. That is going to be so much fun. Trying to see if some other people are going to come in um, before I get started because I have quite a bit I have to do for orders, so I won't be live as long. bring you guys up closer Okay, so I am going to go ahead um, and get started because I have a million things to do tonight before I call it a night. Um, so for this pair, actually, I didn't fold this up very well, so I am going to trim it. This is actually six inches wide, um, but actually... I did something different this weekend, and I liked it um, when I made a pair. It's, I actually only used four inches. So, I'm going to cut my tool in a four-inch strip. So, I used the end of the tool that um from making a tutu so you know how you cut off your inches and you always left with a piece on the end and in my other videos i actually show you the end piece 
So from there, I am going to do three yards of this. This is four inches wide. And I'm taking both pieces. It's two, three. And if you want it, I want a little bit more ruffles in it. Make it a little bit longer. Because I want to make sure both ankles are the same size. I'm just taking my tool and pulling it to make sure it stays the same it's the same length you don't have to do it like this you could if you measured exactly three yards you can just go that way Okay. All right. So everything is the same. So I have two pieces of a little bit, um, well, four strips total of about three and a half yards. So then we're going to take this and we're going to go to the sewing machine which is over here, so let me just move everything out of the way so we can sew. So again, I used, um, three and a half yards of actual tool. That's what I use for mine. Okay. So we're pretty much over here. Let me bring you guys down some. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to make this stay. Okay. There we go. And let me know if you guys have a hard time seeing. I'm gonna have to turn this off so you can see a bit, a bit better. I'll turn this on too. That'll help. So, for the ribbon trim socks, you have an option. If you use the six inch tool, I definitely recommend using the same tool you use for your tutus. If not, I am actually going to use this elastic. This is the elastic that I use. Um, well, they used to make masks. So the same um, elastic as that. And I actually cut mine at 8 inches. So I'll need two pieces at 8 inches. So here we go. And I am going to take two of my strips. Okay, I'm going to take two of the strips and I always make sure sometimes by mistake you can grab two pieces and you'll be grabbing the same piece and be sewing the exact same piece, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to take the two pieces, some kind of way this isn't cut even, that awesome, and I'm going to sew it. Very similar to how I make a tutu, except I am going to sew this more with like an inch and a half seam. Well, I mean casing. If 
about an inch and a half, a half inch. Let's see if I can really see the sizing. There we go. You're going to backspace. And you're going to do it the exact same way you make a tutu. Anybody that's just joining, hello, hello, hello. Make sure you say hi. Let me know who's out there. I just wanted to get on really quick and go live and make these tutu socks. This is, like I said, three and a half yards of tool. And it's cut four inches I'm sewing a half inch casing. And when you're so used to sewing a tutu, you will easily go over to the three-fourths notch on your machine because you're used to sewing at that notch. Don't do it. Stay with the half inch. And you can actually go smaller if you want to. This is just what I did over the weekend, so I'm sticking with it. But you probably can do a quarter because the, the elastic isn't that wide. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm trying to keep it, the chat open so I don't know if anybody has questions. And hello, hello, hello. We are making ruffle socks. I'm not ruffle socks, ruffle anklets. We're not making socks tonight. in at the end of the first one and you're going to back stitch at the end okay so that's one let me get my other two pieces for the other sock make sure I so tickled embroidery. Okay. So 
So again, I'm taking both pieces. Folding in half. I'm going to do a one half inch casing. Gave myself a paper cut earlier today. This one will not be a five hour all night live tonight. Um, I have some things I have to do upstairs along with um, down here. So I have quite a few things, but I kept saying I was going to do the ruffle anklets and I need to do a pair for order that's going out tomorrow so i figured let's go live and sew up here and it's it's a little tricky keeping it straight when it's so short it's a little bit harder to me than making a tutu to keep this just a soda case and keeping it straight. And the socks I have to make is a double layer. It's going to be um, coral and aqua. And as usual, you get that one piece with the tool that had a fold. You just cut it off. Thank you, third generation rich kid. The casing is done. Oh, what's going on with my... There it is. Okay. So, 
This is the three yard piece. Cut my strings off. I am going to take it and I am going to leave it. I'm actually going to leave it like this. Actually, I'm not going to do two layers. I'm doing one. If you want to do two layers, you can. Um, you would just... Well, I'll try. I'll show you guys the two layer. She didn't specify what she wanted. So this one is going to be sewn all the way to the end. So I'm opening it up just like I'm sewing a tutu. Uh oh, what did I just do? Okay, something got caught somewhere. Here we go. Start back where we left off. Hello, Patsy Puerto Rican. Hey, hon. How you doing? Okay. So, I'm starting over from where I left off. What is going on? Something is caught. So, oh, I see it. Tis, tis, tis. There we go. There we go. And how I'm keeping this straight is I'm just using the sewing foot and guiding. I didn't want to run out of bobbin because I did not check the bobbin before I started. And this is, hey, this is, like I said, this is three and a half yards. I did a casing of a half an inch. I'm sewing it just like making a tutu. That was just some extra tool to kind of get sewn on even. This is um the end of this row, but this is uh one and a half inch. 
same ribbon I used for my tutus. So, that's the three and a half yards. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing as if I was making a tutu and making a double layer tutu. I am going to take my other color ribbon and I'm going to sew it on to the tool. So you just open it up the tool just like if it was a tutu. The one I I did the one I made this weekend just a tad bit different. So this is going to be a test of doing it this way. The yes, I did the black and white set. I did this weekend. I did it by just sewing both colors at the same time. But this one I'm doing it two separate. It should make the tool the 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 socks a lot fluffier. And since I'm out of coral ribbon, I have to go get some more. Okay. And I know there's many different ways to make these. I don't attach mine to the socks. That way, they can keep wearing them with different socks um, when they get ready. So it doesn't matter what socks they have on. They can throw these anklets on and they can be hand washed because they're sewn. They're not glued together. Almost at the end of here of this piece. Of course, we all know to heat seal our ends. Bye. 
think I have one of these. Came in my packet. Yes, it's bigger than... I have a, a small one that actually goes with this ribbon, but it's somewhere. All right, I put my clip on the end. And I am going to just feed it through the casing. Just like I would And it's going to wind up, wind around, just unwind it so you can pull your tool down. See how it's coming along? Uh-oh. I'm sorry, guys. I should have had it closer. So, I'm almost at the end. Thank you. Okay, let me cut these strings off. Okay. Then I just take my elastic off. You just have to kind of turn it because it gets twisted. I'm going to find my end over here. It's the same way you did when you, if you made the mask doing that season of our lives. And I just tie mine. close to the ends as I can. For me personally, I just put a quick little stitch through my elastic. You don't have to, but I do. Right over my knot. Nothing fancy, just a quick stitch. Then I pull my tool over the tie. Because once you pull it over it, it's no longer there. Now you're all done. And what I do is I close off. I didn't heat seal this good. I close mine off the same way I do my tutus. And I close mine off with the permanent adhesive hem tape. that off a little and we heat seal it. There we go. All right. First set of ankle first anklet done. You can soak sew your anklet clothes if you want to. But there's so many ruffles in it that you really can't even tail that spot. 
I probably did too much since I did the double ribbon. I probably could have done like two yards for their cute little anklets. Put they slide their foot right in. It it stretches just like baby girls. I make it up to nine inches. My elastic. I like for my knot to get covered by my tool. So I just slide it over to cover it up. Same way I do with the elastic on the tutu. See? Nice and full. No time to make. What was that? I've been on, I'm not sure exactly how long, how long have I been on? 36 minutes. And that's only because I was explaining what I was doing. See from the side, where's my little foot? Here we go. that's that that's it that's all to it thank you anybody have any questions i can go ahead and make the other one really quick then this order will be ready to go now make sure you're pricing them accordingly because if you think about it you're not using as much tool but you're still using What's that? This is seven yards of ribbon total. Three and a half yards of tool. You're using elastic. You have your time. So I need some more coral, which I know I have because I grabbed it. Here we go. Opening up my tool. I get my ribbon um, hair bow center, paper mark, pretty much anywhere. They're all about the same price these days. Um, prices have dramatically went up. Well, I'm not going to say dramatically. They went up quite a bit. Um, but right now, if you go on to Paper Mart, you actually, they have the 12, their shipping is normally, I was going to place my order Monday, and I forgot. And I'm so hesitant, I try to get as much as I can when I do place my order, because shipping is expensive. Um, It's it's never like a, a cheap price. So I tried to order, um, Tuesday, I got an email from them, uh, with a promotion of $12 shipping. To some people, that's still expensive, but when you're used to paying like 30 something dollars to ship from them, you know, that's a $12, you just go ahead and order. Sometimes I've ordered, even if I didn't need it right then and there, only because I knew I would. Yes, yeah, shipping has gone up. Um, even when I'm ordering and shipping, well, my customers are, when I'm shipping things to them, I do see the price change. So, I know I definitely need to go in and adjust some prices for things that have free shipping. Because if it has free shipping, um, you're still accounting for the price of shipping in your product. It's just like Amazon. Yes, they have Prime. 
but Prime, that shipping is, uh-oh, am I out of ribbon? I mean, out of something is caught. No, miss. Something is caught. Okay. Okay, this is the second time something is wrong. I know this is a bobbin where I had some thread on it and it wasn't much and then I came back and I added some more so it ran out Let's see if I have another one, another bobbin already. Okay, let me finish with this one. Hopefully it's enough still on here. Finish this, at least finish up the top layer and then I'll come back. I hate when I run out of a bobbin. Okay. So let's see. Where do we leave off? Okay. So whenever that happens to you, even if you're making a tutu, you just go back to the spot where you left off and make sure you backstitch over where you just um, where it stopped because you want to close off the thread you just had so you don't have to take it all the way apart you just want to make sure your thread is nice and neat I wasn't. Oh, come on. So what I'm doing is I am getting rid of my tail here. There we go. running out. Let me finish this. Please let me get through this in. And I'm actually, I think this weekend, um, because everybody doesn't have this machine, I'm going to pull out just a regular, my regular sewing machine. I have quite a few of them and just use them. Because everybody doesn't have this industrial machine. What do you guys think about that? So I just I pull out my, um, reg my regular sewing machine. I haven't pulled it out in a while. We make a tutu with that. Well, I know this bobbin is pretty much done.
Okay. Okay, let's make us a bob in here. So I have a bob and winder that I use. I got it from Amazon. Never made a tutu? Do you, but do you, do you sew at all? Do any sewing? I have a few, quite a few videos on my page of me making tutus. holding a quilt and that's patience. Well you have to add up your, your pricing. Um because you want to price accordingly. And I tell people all the time just because this person is charging this they may not get their supplies from where you get your supplies. They not may not pay the same shipping cost that you're paying. That makes a difference too. Because if my supplies is coming from California and I'm in New York, my shipping is more expensive. I still have to factor that into my cost. I've wanted to make quilts for a while now, and I've never done it. It's hard to find supplies. I mostly order things online. Is it or I go to Hobby Lobby, Joanne? 
I buy everything in bulk. So, um, if I get two little joints, I buy the whole bulk. I love making two suits too. I know if people say, I can't, that's not something I can, I love making tutus. Absolutely love it. Okay. Now I actually want to use, this is an elastic that I had from making, um, when I was making masks. But I'm definitely, um, I have some other elastics, a different quality of elastic. I plan to go to storage and grab to get that out. Because before I did a different method, and I just tried this method this past weekend. Um, so before, I did it this way. And either way, it's fine. They're both cute. But you can tell the difference. The fluff that stands up more. They're both cute. They're just a different style. This looks exactly like a tutu. Okay. And this is just a ruffle sock. A ruffle anklet, I mean. See how you can tell the difference? This is with the bigger ribbon. I mean the bigger elastic. 